Hello Royal Community and welcome back to our channel. My name is Michelle and I'm Rachel and this is Keeping Up With The Windsors. If you would love to support us there is a link in the description below where you can buy us a coffee and also hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about, drum roll, what is it Rachel what are we talking about? Should Prince Andrew have escorted the Queen to Prince Philip's Thanksgiving service? Mm, it's quite a controversial one but mm -hmm. let's get to yeah. it. On the 29th of March, it was Prince Philip's Thanksgiving service at Westminster Abbey. It was rumoured that when Prince Andrew was to arrive, that he was going to be sitting with his daughters and son-in-law. That didn't happen. And we actually found that he was um, escorting the Queen into the church. I was very surprised by this, actually, Rach. I mean, there's this point where Andrew has just come out with this big scandal with Virginia Dufre, which got settled out of court. And I was very perplexed. It, I feel as if it was the Queen showing her solidarity and support to her son. We have all these preconceived ideas of him and especially the court of public opinion are very negative towards uh, Prince Andrew. And this felt like the Queen's seal of approval. But actually, I don't feel any different towards Prince Andrew. Do you feel any different towards him now? No, I mean, I don't know whose decision this was for Andrew to escort the Queen but I just felt like it was really inappropriate considering like you said the past few months the past year of everything that's happened with the Virginia Giuffre court case I felt like maybe it would have been more appropriate for either Prince Charles or Princess Anne to escort the Queen not someone that's disgraced the monarchy disgraced the royal family and given the family a bad name, a bad reputation, and they're now tainted by what he's been embroiled in. I would have loved to have seen the Princess Royal bring the Queen in. I think it would have been a really great show of support and a mother-daughter bond. I mean, we saw them actually a couple of months back for uh, the, I think, the British, the Royal British Legion's uh, centenary service at Westminster Abbey. So it was the exact same place. And it was wonderful to see them together. It was such a big moment for the family, wasn't it? Prince Phillips, yeah. Thanksgiving. They'd lost out on that during COVID. And we saw that scene of the Queen just sat there on her own during the funeral. Um, I I don't know. For me, I would have been a lot happier if it was the Princess Royal, only because, as you just pointed out, Rach, all of the scandal that's gone before it, although the Queen might be saying, I needed Prince Andrew with me at that point. It is her decision at the end of the day, but she would have had to have known from her advisors just what a statement that would be making to the mm -hmm. wider public and what scrutiny and also what a shadow or a big dark cloud that would have placed on that service because every newspaper the next day was talking about Prince Andrew and wasn't yeah. talking about Prince Philip. So it did set the tone, didn't it? Yeah, and I think we've heard murmurings in the last few months that Andrew uh, maybe wants to return to public life. And maybe this was his way of, you know, sticking his toe in the water. And maybe he was feeling out the response from the public. But I think now everything that's gone on, the public is, well, me in particular, I'm like, just stay where you are. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. want to be seeing you. Obviously, you are part of the royal family, like, that's never going to change in the sense that his mum is the queen mm. and his brother is the future king. That will never change. But it doesn't mean we have to see him in public life. Exactly. I am going to put my my cards on the table right now and I'm just assuming that we're going to see him pop up in a few of the Platinum Jubilee events coming up this summer. And let's bring the realness to this. He hasn't been convicted of anything. He was just alleged, regardless of what happens with the money, we always actually, we always said, we've got a podcast, Royal Community, but we actually said um, during the podcast that this was always going to be a money transaction. It, it was very highly unlikely that it was going to go to the civil courts. And now we've got, we, us as Royal fans we are in a rock and a hard place because we don't have any concrete evidence and we don't have the civil case to actually bring out all the he said, she said. So it's very difficult right now 
because to him, he's innocent. He's at his father's Thanksgiving service and he has every right to be there. His mother's upset. He's going to walk her to a place within the, the church. In his head, that makes sense. But from the wider society and the public, um, you know, the PR, the PR system mm-hmm. that's going around with him, it's, it's just, it's like a bad smell. And I think I would have loved to have been um, a fly on the wall in the conversations that was had between Kensington Palace, Clarence House and Buckingham Palace as if to... Was this acknowledged before or was this just, you know, an hour beforehand this was going to happen? And were other parties privy to it, including William and Charles? I think, Rach, taking on from your point, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens when Charles becomes king and whether he actually narrows down the, you know, the the wider family members. I think you're understanding my drift here. Just to see what happens because... If they are bringing that much scrutiny, that much um, negative press on an institution that they are head of, they may make a very different decision than the Queen. Exactly. But that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think Prince Andrew should have escorted the Queen? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we will see you in our next video.